Hey everybody, uh, doing a quick review out here at the pasture here in Central Florida on the Black & Decker 12 inch 40 volt lithium ion battery powered chainsaw. Uh, you can see here this morning I'm cutting. This is oak, it's green oak, it's hard, it's wet. It just was down from this, uh, this fallen tree we had from a storm back in the summertime. Uh, so the tree is still very much alive and we're starting to process it now. Uh, this is extremely hard stuff, probably one of the worst scenarios you could put a battery-powered chainsaw through, but the saw performed extremely well. It is uh, it is a saw that you can't force. You're going to have to let it let it do its own thing and, and let it just chew on through. You can't put a ton of pressure on it. You'll bog the battery down. It won't like it, but you let it just work. It takes a little longer than a gas-powered chainsaw, which, which is kind of expected, but it did really well. There's the dog. You can see here I got about 15 cut pieces of oak and I still have battery. I've got one bar left there on the battery it says. Hey baby girl, I see you, I see you. Uh, and I didn't charge it all the way up this morning before I came out, so the battery was maybe halfway charged. They say to charge it for four or five hours and I put two hours on it this morning on the way out here. Uh, so yeah, you could on this hard oak, I could probably, I wouldn't be surprised if I could do 30 plus, upwards of 40 cuts on this on this hard stuff. But I mean, if you're processing just a little bit of firewood for a for a weekend, like we're doing here for camping this, uh, this Saturday, it's, it's more than enough for what you need. Um, but extremely impressed with this, this chainsaw. I got it on Amazon for, they had a sale going on this week for like 120, 130 bucks or something like that which it's, it's hard to beat. Came with the battery, which the battery itself is like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, and a charger, ready to go out of the box. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight saw, eight pounds or so. One thing I don't like is the bar oil leaks. So something to keep in mind. You really don't wanna be tilting the saw around and throwing it upside down, making crazy cuts, cause it will it will leak on you. So that's, that's about my only complaint I have of it so far, but man, extremely impressed with how it did on this on this oak it is hard it is green and it chewed right through it did a did a really really good job 